I'm just walking the hedgerows here about an hour before dusk, but I'm mainly out to target rabbits after dark, but often see them out before dark. With the clocks gone back and getting dark at 4.30, it's a great time of year for night rabbit shooting without having to be out late. For this session, I'm using my 177 Viarc HW100KT and it's loaded with JSB Exact Heavy Pellets 10.34 grain at 4.52. And I'm also using a couple of add-ons, a PARD MV007V for the filming and to see after dark, and an LE032 rangefinder to get the distances in the dark, and you will see that working later. I'm also going to use the PARD as a spotter, which attaches and detaches from the rifle easily. These add-ons work well, but now with more experience, I wish I'd gone for an all-in-one day stroke night scope with an inbuilt rangefinder. But that's the plan for the future and to use the pod as a spotter. The shooting sticks I like to use at night when you have more stealth and can stay standing are a set of Sealand quad sticks. These are great for support both ends of the rifle and give a stable platform to shoot from. And once you learn how to manoeuvre them and keep track of a moving target, they work well. Apart from the rifle and the sticks, all I carry are some pellets, a torch and a game bag. So nice and light for wandering around the fields. It's after dark now and there were no sign of rabbits before dark. I'm using the PAR to scan the fields and hedgerows, hoping to see those rabbit eyes shining in the dark. I'm either walking and spotting, or stopping at a spot for a short while. Some shiny eyes here, but not the shiny eyes I'm looking for. After walking the hedgerows of two fields, I finally spot a couple of rabbits in the third field. A scan with the rangefinder shows the nearest rabbit at 44 yards. You can see the rabbits clearly know something is up. I forgot to load a pellet, but with a bit of luck, the noise will not spook them. Another quick scan to double check the distance at 45 yards and the shot is on. One rabbit for the pot to be dealt with tomorrow. Back out again the next night and this time I'm using my 177 Air Arms Ultimate Sporter Regulated. Again with the add-ons and JSB heavies. In my opinion both of these rifles are as good as each other. Both are very accurate and about equal in power at around 11.6 foot-pounds with the JSBs. I just like having both and using both. Plus it's useful having a spare just in case one goes wrong. In fishing we call it tackleitis when you have a lots of tackle. But not sure what it would be called in shooting when you have lots of equipment. But it's all good fun. Again after a bit of a wander I eventually spot a rabbit. Ironically in the same field as the previous night. But then notice another much closer. Unfortunately, after getting myself set up on the sticks, that rabbit had gone, so obviously heard me. However, the other rabbit much further away was still there, but way too far, so I, ne so I needed to stalk closer. Great, the rabbit's still there, and I'm 41 yards away, so happy to take the shot. Just one problem, this rabbit decided it was going for a wander and would not stay still, and even worse, decided to wander further away from me 
so I just had to be patient and try to follow the rabbit. I know I'm too slow but when taking shots at 40 to 50 yards I like to sh make sure my aim is as good as it can be. Okay good, it's come back towards me at 41 yards. Now I just need it to stay still. Not sure why I missed there, but fortunately the rabbit didn't bolt, so a second chance. A couple of rabbits jointed and popped in the freezer to enjoy and appreciate at a later date. Many thanks for watching and hopefully see you on the next one.